everyone this is a kalpana here so in this video we are going to see a problem from conformal mapping that is we are going to find a bilinear transformation using component and dividend okay so let's get started find the bilinear transformation which maps the points infinity i 0 in the z plane into minus 1 minus i and 1 in the omega plane okay Okay, before going to the problem, let's see what is component and dividend of. Component of dividend of. If you are having A by B equals to some C by D. If you have A by B equals to C by D, then A plus B. That is numerator by denominator by numerator, sorry, numerator plus denominator by numerator minus denominator A minus B which is equals to same numerator plus denominator divided by numerator minus denominator. Okay. So, we are going to apply this to solve the problem. So, this is called component of dividend solution given points z1 equals to infinity z2 equals to i z3 equals to 0 Omega 1 equals to minus 1, Omega 2 equals to minus i, Omega 3 equals to 1. The bilinear transformation is given by Omega minus Omega 1, Omega 2, Omega 3 divided by Omega 1 minus Omega 2 into Omega 3 minus Omega equals to Z minus Z1 into Z2 minus Z3 divided by Z1 minus Z2 into Z3 minus Z. Okay. So, here we are having z1 equals to infinity. We know that infinity by infinity is undefined or unknown we can say except infinity. Anything by infinity is equals to 0. Okay. Anything except infinity by infinity is 0, not 1. Okay. So, what we are going to do is, since Z1 is infinity, so you will take Z1 common from this. And also, there's Z, we are having Z1 in the denominator also. So, you will take Z1 common again. Okay. So, we will get omega minus omega 1 into omega 2 minus omega 3. We don't have any infinity in this omega points. So, you can write it as it is. Omega 2 minus omega, sorry, omega minus, omega 1 minus omega 2 into omega 3 minus omega equals to, since z1 is infinity, so you have to take z1 common, then you will get z by z1 minus 1 into z2 minus z3 by z1 into z by z1 Minus 1 into Z2 minus Z3 by Z1 
seven into one minus z two by z one into z three minus z. Okay. Simply we are taking z one common since we have z one is infinity. So cancel these two z one and z one. So finally you will get. Omega minus omega one into omega two minus omega three by omega one minus omega two into omega three minus omega, which is equals to z by z one minus one into z two minus z three by One minus z two by z one into z three minus z. Okay. So now we'll substitute the values of omega and z. So you have omega one equals to minus one, omega two equals to minus i, omega three equals to one. So now substitute the values of omega here. Omega minus omega one is minus one into omega two is minus i minus omega three is one by omega one minus one minus omega two is minus i into omega three is one minus omega equals to z by z one. So you have z one equals to infinity, z two equals to i, and z three equals to zero. So now apply the values of z. Z by z one infinity minus one into z two is i minus z three is zero by one minus z two i by z one infinity into Z three zero minus Z. Okay. Anything except infinity by infinity is zero. So this is not infinity, right? We are having Z. So Z by infinity is zero, and I by infinity also zero. Okay. Now, omega minus into minus plus one. Into now you can take minus common. Take minus common since you are having minus. Okay, in two terms. So if you take minus common, you'll get minus one into i plus one. Okay, by minus one minus two minus plus i into one minus omega. Okay, so this equals to zero minus one into i minus zero is i by one minus zero into minus z. Okay. This becomes omega plus one by. You can take minus common from this, then you'll get minus one into omega minus one. Okay, into we have again minus one into i plus one by minus. Okay. Minus one plus i can be written as i minus one, which is equals to 
minus minus 1 into i is minus i or just write minus 1 into i divided by 1 into you are having minus z you can write it as minus 1 into z again okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to cancel the minus ones minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 since you are having minus 1 in the numerator and denominator here also you are having minus 1 in the numerator and the denominator so we are going to cancel or we have cancelled minus 1 okay so this becomes omega plus 1 by omega minus 1 into i plus 1 by i minus 1 equals to i by z. Okay. So now we will keep this omega plus 1 by omega minus 1 in the left hand side itself and we will take this to right hand side and we will get omega plus 1 by omega minus 1 equals to i by z into i minus 1 by i plus 1. So you can write it as i into i minus 1 by z into i plus 1. Okay. See we are going uh, we are just solving this RHS part. So you will get i square minus i by z into i plus 1. Since we know that i square equals to minus 1. Okay. So we will get minus 1 minus i by z into i plus 1. So if you take i minus common then you get minus of 1 plus i by z into i plus 1. So you are having 1 plus i in the numerator and 1 plus i in the denominator. So you can cancel these two. Then you will get minus 1 by z. So we have omega plus 1 by omega minus 1 equals to minus 1 by z. Okay. Good. So we have omega plus one by omega minus one equals to minus one by. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, I'll just cancel this i. To cancel this i, I need one more i here because there is no other choice. Okay, so I can write it as 1 plus omega by the denominator. You can take minus 1 common. If you take minus 1 common, you'll get minus 1 into 1 minus omega, which is equals to minus 1 by z. So, this equals to minus 1 plus omega by 1 minus omega, which is equals to minus 1 by z. So, cancel this minus. So, finally, you will get 1 plus omega by 1 minus omega equals to 1 by z. Okay. Now, we are going to apply component and dividend to, to solve this. Okay. It's easy to solve if we use component or dividend. Or. Using component and dividend or. A by B. So here we know that if A by B equals to C by D, then A plus B by A minus B equals to C plus D by C minus D. Okay. So you are having A equals to 
in the place of a if you compare these two in the place of a you are having 1 plus omega in the place of b you are having 1 minus omega and c equals to 1 d equals to z okay so now we are going to apply component of dividend of this implies a plus b 1 plus omega plus 1 minus omega by 1 plus omega minus 1 minus omega equals to 1 plus z by 1 minus z. Okay. So you get 1 plus omega plus 1 minus omega by 1 plus omega minus 1 minus into minus plus omega. Which is equal to 1 plus z by 1 minus z. Okay. Plus omega minus omega gets cancelled. 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. Okay. So you will get. One plus one two by omega plus omega is two omega equals to one plus z by one minus z. So here two gets cancelled. You'll get one by omega equals to one plus z by one minus z. Or omega equals to reciprocal, right? One by z. Sorry, one minus z by 1 plus z. So this is a required bilinear transformation. Or, or we can use simple cross multiplication. Since we have, since we have 1 plus omega by 1 minus omega equals to 1 by z, right? Now to call cross multiplication z into or 1 plus omega into z equals to 1 into 1 minus omega. So, from this you will get z plus omega z equals to 1 minus omega. Now, take all the omega terms in the left hand side and non-omega terms in the right hand side. Then you will get 1 minus z in the right hand side. Okay. So, from this you can take omega common. If you take omega common, you will get omega into z plus 1. Which is equals to 1 minus z. Okay. From this omega equals to 1 minus z by z plus 1. Or 1 minus z by 1 plus z. Okay. Fine. So this completes the problem. Finally. Omega equals to 1 minus z by 1 plus z is the required bilinear transformation. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from bilinear transformation which is from conformal mapping using component and dividend. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.